All right, boys and girls. This video, I will be using, showing you guys how to use this thing here. An original Lysol cylinder ridge reamer. This is as old as the motor and this is what they would have used back then. Made in USA, Clarend. Uh, and this here is much better than any any modern uh, ridge reamer. They're all garbage. This here is a very very heavy duty industrial machine. As you can see, it's got rollers here, which is something that uh, most mo modern ridge reamers don't have. They're actually just rubbing against the cylinder walls, which I don't like. It's all cast iron construction, so it will not. Uh, very thick, very heavy, so it, it will not uh, warp or seize. I, I tried to use a uh, modern ridge reamer and just seized up, so that's, that's the end of that. And uh, the way this works, this it's a little bit different. In this one, the whole thing turns, the rollers with the cutting blade. So right there, there's a little cutting blade. right there now and it's pretty simple you just set the depth here so this this here I really like this too some of see some of the modern ones stupid garbage that they have um, they don't have anything to prevent the tool from falling into the cylinder so I actually have to sort of hold it and then tighten it this one you just set it here like that I just put a bolt on it so that it won't turn. Uh, don't worry about the tops here. This is just that it doesn't fall. It's not providing any sort of squareness or anything like that. Um, you tighten the middle bolt here, which causes the, uh, the three parts there with the rollers on them to expand. Tighten it up like that. In case I know how much to tighten it, tighten it pretty good. That's it, and then I get a half inch nut, sorry, a half inch wrench in this case, and start turning this part here. Now, the thing that was uh, the hardest part in this job was actually the lubrication. You're not really supposed to do this dry, but I, I previously tried to use automatic transmission fluid or just oil and I didn't have good results it kept uh, either seizing up at some point and then taking off big chunks uh, it kept taking off big cuts so like deep gouges into the, the cylinder walls which I wasn't happy so I'm actually now just using coolant or antifreeze that stuff there and I couldn't really find, you see this is a pretty old tool so um, I couldn't really find what exactly uh, is suitable for lubricating this. I've seen some people using WD-40 but that's expensive and I don't have here. It's not really useful for anything. Um, but it occurred to me that the similar process that we're doing here is uh, uh, making threads with taps and dies. And so I looked up the sheet there on the tap and die set. It's got a sheet with a suitable and a list of uh, suitable lubricants for use in different materials. So I think aluminum uses uh, lard or margarine, something like that. Uh, brass uses uh, oil. Um, copper uses something else. Steel uses something else. And for the cast iron, it's actually supposed to be dry. But I don't like that it's 100% dry, so I'm just using a really light coat of coolant. And it just seems to work much better. It's actually very smooth. Uh, I can't tell the difference, uh, barely tell the difference between the home cylinder wall and the uh, part that I ridge reamed. I've already taken off the ridge from these pistons here. And I'm going to leave these two in the middle with the ridges just to see what happens. I know it's against my better judgment, which you should 
technically remove the ridges, but I just, there's not a lot of ridge. I just want to see if there's going to be any problem. So I won't even try to get the camera to zoom in to the, uh, so you guys can see the cut, but uh, I don't think there's any other videos of people using this kind of ridge ring. I actually got it from eBay. Just got here today and uh, I don't see how it could be any better. Maybe if you had, I, I'd actually like it to have one more or maybe three cutters. Maybe two more cutters. Three in total. That would make things uh, pretty nice as well. So it's already tightened up by hand. Just throw in some coolant. It's a night and day difference between using the uh, ATF there. Just work it around with that. And you gotta hear that sound. Right? First time that I actually ridge ringed anything in any engine, but the sound is very different than when I was trying to use the ATF. Fortunately, there was quite a bit of a ridge there, so I'm still, although I, I made some screw ups there, I'm at least still being able to uh, give it another pass. So that's another thing. You don't want to try to give it, uh, take it off, all off in one pass. Uh, if it's too much of a ridge, give it two, three passes. And it's pretty much that. Bring a lot to it. Pretty much it. So use water or coolant. And, uh, don't use any uh, heavy oils like engine oil or whatever. Remember to uh, clean off the. Uh, I like to clean off the blade, and it's clean off the blade here uh, on every pass. And one thing that's really important is to clean off the cylinder itself. Because if you don't. And the uh, the rollers are gonna roll over the uh, little cast iron shavings, and that's bad. So, better just keep things nice as clean as possible.